All right, I'm, I'm in the process of, I've outlined this vestment and it occurred to me to show you some problems with fabric, with some of the vestments, because this fabric, this vestment is made from this kind of fabric and I need to warn you about problems that you can get in your vestment making using certain fabrics. This fabric is metallic. It has metal in it. You can see the fringe sticking out on this end. Um, this, this kind of metal, I think it's called Lyra or something like that. Um, it's not true, it, it is true metal. It's an aluminum, but it, it's aluminum with a, a nylon core. And when you heat it, the nylon core melts and causes the, the, the thread to shrink. Now there are other more expensive, this is an inex rather inexpensive, not inexpensive, but of the, uh, if you can compare it to some other metallic fabrics, it's less expensive than some of the high-end metallic fabrics. The high-end metallic fabrics are made with actual metal that doesn't have that nylon core. And generally speaking, you really have to test them on an individual basis. You, um, they won't shrink. The best thing to do when you're buying a fabric that has metallic thread in it is ask for a swatch and iron it to see if it does shrink. There are also some very nice fabrics that look metallic but aren't. Um, I'll show you one of those. But let me show you exactly what happens when, when, when that nylon core shrinks. Let me see if my iron's hot, yeah. You can, all, you can generally even see it, if, see it shrink up. It pulls into the iron. Probably should have used a bigger piece here. Um, let me see if I can do it this way to see it better. Um, you'll see it pull into the iron as that, that core shrinks. And now it's not a, you can use this fabric, but you need to pre-shrink it. You just need to set your iron on the setting that you're going to use. In my case, since I use stitch witchery, I need, I use the lowest steam setting that my iron has. And then what you do is you pre-iron your fabric and shrink it up. Once it's shrunk to that temperature, it doesn't shrink more unless you raise your iron. The temperature on your iron. So you need to pre, now this is already, sh you, you won't see the shrinking anymore. It's now shrunk down to the, um, to whatever size that that core melted to. And I can use this fabric without it shrinking anymore. Um, when I use a fabric, um, this kind of fabric, I always pre-shrink it before I cut it out. I cut, I cut a little bit larger than what I need, shrink it, and then put the pattern on it and cut it out. Now, a lot of, this does not only apply to the fabric. It also applies to trims that have metal in them. Uh, you won't see too, and the more metal that's in the fabric, excuse me, the more metal that's in the trim or the fabric, the more it will shrink. This has got stitch witchery on it, so I'm not going to use it. Um, this particular one has, it's about 50-50, and I don't know if you will see it shrink up or not, but I brought another one that I know will. You'll, you'll see it pull into the iron as it shrinks. And so you also need to pre-shrink your trim. This one, this one is a beautiful trim, and I use it a lot. I get this from CheapTrims.com, and it's about... It's not 50-50 metal. This is the back. You can see the metal threads going across. It's not 50-50, but I'd say it's 30% metal. And it is that type that shrinks up. Let me see if... Can, can you see it pulling into the iron? So you need to... These, with these kind of trims, you need to pre-shrink them before you use them. Now, I'm at the point 
on this vestment where I'm ready to put the trim down. And as you can see, it's made from that metallic fabric. Now the main problem with this, with, with a lot of vestments, uh, people who make vestments is they say, and I'll turn this around, you can see it. They say, the vestment curls here at the corners. It curls up, it doesn't lay flat. What, what am I doing wrong? See how nice and flat this lays? Again, I did pre-shrink this fabric. Um, what usually happens at the at the po that point is either they didn't pre-shrink the sh fabric, and it is a metallic fabric, or whether it's metallic or not, they're using a trim that is metallic, and as they go around the corner, it's pulling up, and as it pulls up, it's going to roll that edge. Can't see it with the iron, I suppose. It's going to roll this edge. So you, you need to pre-shrink your trims as well. As you put it around, if you don't, again, it's going to roll that edge up. Even if the, if the fabric is a metallic, if it's a plain white fabric and you're putting a metallic trim around the edge and you haven't shrunk it and it's, um, it has enough metal in it to shrink, as it shrinks up, it, you know, it, pull, it, it pulls that, the fabric and will cause that edge to curl. So what was, looked really nice was laying really flat. Once you're done, it has a curled edge. And you don't know why. It was usually because you used a metallic trim and you didn't pre-shrink it. Yes, you can hand baste and then you don't have to use stitch witchery and it may not uh, curl on you, but in future, if you ever have to iron this vestment for any reason, th at that point it will shrink. So why not shrink it now? Shrink it before you do any problems with it. As I say, there are metallic fabrics. Let me show you. This is, this is a, a non-metallic fabric. There is no metal in this, but it has the look of metal. It looks as if there's metal in it. It's that has that shiny, you know, brightness to it. That, but it's, there is no metal in this. These are appliques that are going to go down on a vestment. Again, th there is metal in this, but this this does not shrink. There, this is a metallic fabric but it does not shrink. But it's a high quality metallic fabric. Uh, here's a few other samples of high quality fabric. Um, by the way, this particular fabric, <coughs> there's a link to it on my website, the store website on the fabric page. This comes in from Moscow. Um, I can't remember, Elena, Irina, something like that. Her name is, she's one of the last links on the page. If you like this fabric, she has others. Very nice, not overly expensive. Not as expensive as Lala made charges. And this metallic fabric, again, this, this one and these come from the links on my fabric page, uh, the, uh, come in from Greece. Again, they ha they're metal, there is metal in them, but it doesn't shrink. Because the, the core of it is probably cotton, and it's not nylon or, or rayon or something like that, a plastic. It's an actual thread that's covered with aluminum, a colored aluminum. So I wanted to warn you about that because I, I was starting to do this put the trim on this fabric, this on this vestment, I thought um, that's a question that comes up a lot of times and probably needs to be addressed. Um, so pre-iron your trims. What I do is I don't iron the whole roll. I iron to a certain point, put a pin there to touch mark to show that I've that's as far as I've ironed. Use it when I get close to the pin I iron some more. 
I mean, I might iron like three or four yards of it and then uh, put a pin and use that and then continue on. So, I'm sorry I haven't put too many um, videos up on YouTube lately, but Christmas is coming and I've got vestments I need to get finished. Hopefully after Christmas I can do some more um, vestment um, videos. And I'd like to also in the future maybe do some digitizing videos to show you how I make some of these embroideries. All of these embroideries are mine. I, I do my own, I digitize my own embroideries, including, including this one, Christ the Eternal High Priest. So, um, and people have asked me, how do you do that? And I, uh, if I would show you, but again, you need to have, to, in order to do it, you also have to have the software. But I use software that's readily available, so. But all those softwares are expensive. So thank you for watching my, my videos. And if you have questions or want to see what, how I do something or you're having a problem with your investment and you want to make a comment, I'll be glad to address those, those issues for you. All right, I finished putting the edge trim on this vestment. And as you can see, uh, because I pre-shrunk the edge, it still lays, uh, the edge trim, it still lays nice and flat. It's ready to be sewn down now, but it's all, it's all put down with the stitch witchery and ready for its final sewing. Um, it's, a, it's a small thing to press, press the trim, but it's worth it in the long run if you want your vestment to look really nice. All right, before I stop, I want to show you another trim, a couple trims here, uh, because I think you can see it better with this trim than the other one, the shrinkage. This has quite a bit of metallic in it. And if you watch where the, the front of the iron, can you see it pulling into it? Watch as I move up. It pulls into the into the iron. Um, if you look at it afterwards, um, you'll, you you can almost kind of feel it. So it feels a little denser than it did before, because again, all that metal has shrunk. This is another trim. It's metallic, but this doesn't shrink. Uh, again, it's um, the quality of the, the fibers that they use. It probably has a core of cotton instead, excuse me, core of cotton instead of um, plastic. And it doesn't, it doesn't shrink at all. And here I'll show you what the finished vestment Right, so here's the finished vestment, and here is the lower corners, and you see they lay perfectly flat. They don't curl. Um, if I turn it around, you'll see the same with the front. And that's only because uh, I took the precaution to iron the trim before I put it down. And here's the front of the vestment. And you see it, it lays very flat.